Welcome to this QuickBooks Desktop 2019 tutorial for beginners on how to pay bills properly. My name is Matt Holquist with the QuickBooks University, and I wanted to put uh, together this video uh, to show you really the function in QuickBooks of how to pay bills. And it can seem a little bit straightforward, but a lot of times people will get this wrong, and I want to make sure that you uh, follow the, the right procedure to, to make sure you do it right so your books are uh, correct. All right, so here we are in a QuickBooks Desktop 2019 uh, sample company file. So this assumes, first of all, that you understand the process of entering bills. If you're not familiar with that process, you know, look through my channel. I've got uh, videos on how to enter bills properly. So in this video, we're talking about how to pay your bills properly. All right, so what you're going to do, you know, you're on the home screen here, You've got two options to go to pay bills. You'll see an icon right here. You can simply click this, uh, or if you're, you know, more familiar with these drop-down menus, you can click the vendor drop-down menu and pay bills. Either way is going to take you to the exact same place. So I'm going to click on pay bills, and it brings up the screen here with all of the bills that have been entered for this company file. Now this sample company file has quite a number of bills outstanding. And you can do a couple of things here when you get to this screen. All right, so first of all, up here under Show Bills, you can say Show All Bills, or you can say Show Bills Due on or Before a Certain Date. So that's gonna filter the number of bills that you have. Uh, so it's not quite as overwhelming. So you're not looking at all these bills and, and really wondering what to pay. Because you can see in this example here, you know, these are all filtered uh, or sorted by uh, the alphabetical order here, not by date. And so you really want to say, OK, you know, get on a schedule of, OK, we pay bills every, you know, Friday or Wednesday or twice a week or whatever it is. But on your schedule, that way you can say, OK, do on or before a certain date and that way it's going to filter all of these bills and just show you what's due on or before that date makes it a lot easier just to look at your information now the next thing is you can also filter it by certain vendors uh, you can change this okay sort by let's see i'm sorry filter by uh, a chung limited sort by vendor, and then you can say by due date, discount date, amount due, et cetera. So there's a number of ways to, to slice and dice this information, just depending on how you wanna do it. All right, so we're back to this screen here. I wanna say due on or before 1225, 2023, we've got our bills. Now, you've got an option down here to select all the bills. If you want to choose which ones to pay, you simply check off a or click the check mark and say which ones you want to pay. Now, here's a little thing that a lot of people really don't realize is that if you have an amount due, 3900 bucks, and no discounts, no credits, you can change this amount to pay over here. So let's say that we want to pay a partial bill because we just can't pay that full bill right now. And we want to at least show the vendor that, you know, we have some goodwill. We want to pay a partial payment. You can pay a partial payment. Now, what this will do is it's going to pay the $2,500 and it's going to show that you still owe this company the difference of $1,400. So it'll keep an amount due in there. So it'll track, okay, you still owe $1,400 to this company. So this is a little known option that you can do if you're not paying the full amount. You simply just highlight it and change it to a different amount. If you need to clear the selections, you clear these and it's going to clear everything out that you've checked off. If you need to go to a certain bill, you can highlight it up here and then say go to bill. And it's going to take you to the screen where you entered the bill. So if you need to look at this bill, if you need to make an adjustment, if there's something you need to do to change this bill, you can go to it and then simply click that X and you'll go back to this screen. Or you can look over here in your open windows and go back to the screen. Now, a couple of other things. It's going to show if you have discounts that can be used. So early pay discounts, et cetera. If you have credits with this vendor, you can set the credits and offset them against the bills that you're paying. You definitely want to make sure you take advantage of that if you have that. Payment date is going to default to the date that you're uh, in QuickBooks. If you need to change this for whatever reason, you can change this. And then this is very important right here, method. All right, so 
In this example, uh, we are paying by check and we're saying assign check number and it's coming out of checking account. So first of all, you wanna make sure that it's coming out of the right account that you're paying the bill. If you, uh, two things, if you handwrite checks, you're gonna leave it on assign check number. And then once you pay it, you have the option of typing in the check number for that particular bill. So if I say, hey, I wanna pay Bank of Any City, the $600, um, I click pay selected bills, a screen pops up that says, okay, assign a check number. I'll show you that here. Okay, so you assign the check number. So if you hand wrote this check, you would put in the check number uh, that corresponds with that handwritten check. We say, okay, and we're done. Okay, so now if we wanna go back to pay more bills, we go back to this screen. Now, if you print checks from QuickBooks, you're gonna choose this option to be printed and you would choose which bill. And what it's gonna do in this situation is it's gonna put it into the print queue. And then once it puts it in the print queue, you're gonna to go to file and print forms and checks. And then you can print the checks from your printer. Now, and a question that often comes up is what if I do online banking or if I go to this company's website and I pay electronically, how do I, how do, I do that? Well, in that situation, you know, you've, you've got a couple of options. If it's an online bank payment, you can set up different payment uh, methods. Uh, you know, so in this example, we'll say an online payment, bank payment. When you choose this as a default, okay, QuickBooks is gonna say, hey, do you pay this through uh, QuickBooks? You know, do you let QuickBooks pay this electronically? Most people don't choose this option. So when it's like an online bill pay, I choose check. Then I say, okay, we're gonna say bank of any city. Uh, it's coming out of checking, assign check number. We hit pay selected bills. And instead of a check number in here, you can put in EFT for electronic funds transfer. You can put um, uh, debit for uh, debit to your checking account. You can put ACH, you can put anything you want, but something that signifies that you're paying this through online bill pay. All right, so let me cancel this. Uh, you can also choose to pay by credit card. So if you're paying a bill by credit card, you choose the credit, you know, pay by credit card, choose the credit card you're paying with, and then hit pay selected bills. Okay, so pretty straightforward, but you want to make sure that you follow some, you know, some of these methodologies and make sure that all of your options down here are correct and uh, you should be good to go. Any questions whatsoever, feel free to leave a comment below. Uh, love to have you join me as a member of the QuickBooks University where I also uh, answer your personal, very specific QuickBooks questions through a couple of different avenues to help you out in your situation. Uh, become a member today. Head over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org.